What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop with another daily vlog and guys today we're going to work on making the Kydex sheath for this knife right here. So this is that clip point buoy knife that I made with the ill-advised podcast crew and uh, it's time to go ahead make a sheath for it. We're probably not going to do anything super fancy or anything like that because you know this is more about the knife than anything and I really want just a sleek sheath that maybe they can modify if they want to modify. But this is going to be the first time that we are going to use the new Kydex press. So this is what we're going to be using today. We're not going to use the one that I normally use. So this will be the maiden voyage for that press right there. We're going to make a cool but simple sheath for this. And uh, hopefully it turns out awesome. I think we're going to use some black Kydex. If y'all want to know anything about the Kydex, I'm going to leave a link for where I get it and all that stuff in the description below. So if you want to go click on that, you can and go check out the offerings that they have for Kydex. But that's what we're going to work on today, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. Let's get it knocked out. See how it goes. So whenever you're doing a taco style sheath, you want to make sure you get that spine pushed all the way up into the meat section of the taco. So you just want to make sure that you have it where it needs to be because you're going to get a better end result when it comes to shaping the sheath and things like that. And typically you don't know what you have until after you've pressed it and then you start taking the clamps off, relieving the pressure and then you finally get to see what you're left with and you hope that everything came out exactly how you wanted it and with this one it definitely did you got a nice impression into the kydex good firm retention and i think this is gonna turn out pretty cool whenever we get it all shaped and everything so the next step is to Go ahead and draw the outline of the knife itself. And then you'll start going and figuring out, okay, how do I want this sheath to be? Where am I, where am I gonna put the clip? Where am I gonna put different things? And then start measuring. So what I do is I'll typically leave enough room for uh, the eyelets to be drilled in and pressed in and that's why I draw the line around the knife shape itself and then I'll start going in and measuring after I've got the rough idea of where I wanted it and get everything measured so that whenever I start drilling the holes it's all exactly where I want it to be and you can put clips on it and things like that then we use a center punch to just punch the center of our markings just like that right there. And then I did space out the last two so that the bottom one was just even with the point of the sheath. I'm not gonna have a clip down there so it was more for aesthetics than anything. And we're using a 3 16 bit to just do some pilot holes and then I'll switch to the step bit. I like the step bit. You've seen me use this in a bunch of other videos. It doesn't burn the plastic or melt the plastic. It just leaves a nice crisp clean hole so I prefer this and you want to do the holes before you cut it out because the last thing you want to do is cut it out and then not be able to center the holes exactly where it needs to be because of where the knife is so it's always good to drill the holes and then if a hole gets to where it's off to one side or another you can kind of even it out later so now we're going to use the oscillating spindle sander and just smooth out the edges. And I know the camera is kind of wobbly on this. Uh, I used my phone to film most of this video just to try it out. And the tripod that I use is not a very good tripod. So uh, I'll be switching that up in the future. But we just go around, get into all the nooks and crannies and make sure everything's smooth and rounded. And then we'll use I'm actually using for the first time on this uh, Scotch-Brite belt. This is my 
coarse scotch pride belt and I'm using it to round over the edges and just smooth a couple of things out and it actually worked really well so I'll probably be using this here and there in the future it was nice because it did not melt the kydex it just smoothed it it's starting to come together I really like how this is turning out Now it's time to go ahead, take some 320 grit sandpaper and just go around the edge and sand it smooth. It was already pretty smooth from using the scotch Bright belt and the oscillating spindle sander so I didn't have to actually do much here in order to make it nice and have a smooth clean finish. But that's all we're doing and I did 320 grit and 500 grit while working on this. And all I was doing right there was just taking a razor to clean some of the excess plastic or excess kydex off the inside of the sheath itself. Now this is a step I don't typically show y'all. This is just cleaning the dust and the kydex shavings out of the inside of the sheath. You want to do this step so that you're not scratching your finish on your blade whenever you go to actually start putting it in and pulling it out. And then make sure that this dries all the way before you stick a blade in it. Now we're just going to take our little press up that we have right here and, and punch these eyelets in. This setup still works just fine for me, but eventually I will do a press. That's pretty much what she wrote right there. We'll talk about it here in a second. Hmm. Let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog. Now, I'm really excited about this whole entire build and I like how the sheath came out. I know that some of y'all might be thinking, wow, that's a pretty plain sheath compared to some of the ones y'all have done in the past. And it is. But the overall point behind this sheath was just to be able to cover the blade and I want them to be able to add something to it that is their own style. So I want them to be able to do their ill-advised or whatever, maybe they could paint it or do some spray paint to it or something like that uh, to really make it their own because I just made the sheath, I want them to customize it. You know, they made the knife, I want them to be able to put that much work into something like this and uh, all I wanted to do was create the covering for the knife so that they could easily transport it. Uh, now, when it comes to the knife itself, look at that. I mean, that is just absolutely awesome. Handle scales are beautiful. Just super cool. But nice hammered finish. We got, it's a 5160 steel. And I mean, they did a great job working on it super smooth bevels nice hammer finish and that clip point design is just beautiful i told them that i would not recreate this knife and i'm not going to uh, i would love to because i really like the knife so man they they did a good job they came up with a good design and they did a lot of great work to this so yeah that's pretty much it on that one now what we do have coming up is there's going to be some chop test with this and I don't know what they're going to be getting to do the chop test because uh, they're just going to kind of surprise me and they've never done a chop test with the knife so I don't even know if they know what to get. So they're just going to kind of wing it, they're going to get some stuff and we are going to obliterate it with this big old chopping knife. So uh, y'all be on the lookout for that. Guys, that's pretty much the end of this one, if y'all would. Give this video a thumbs up, share this video or a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And guys, if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button so you get notified for when we do uh, the other collab videos where we are chopping things or whenever I release, you know, all the stuff that we have coming up. Lots of awesome builds, lots of cool things, and I cannot wait to start making them. So guys, there you go. Thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this out. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll catch y'all next time.